Welcome back all Smash Toy fans and subscribers. Today I shall be reviewing Dun 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 Zombie Lab 118 scale Bane action figure. I picked this up in China where I'm currently living uh, a couple of Sundays ago, or last Sunday actually, which is about blah, 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 five days. And I'm getting around to opening it now with you guys and see what this is like because I do like my 118 scale figures as you can see from my channel. So it is taped at the top and the bottom. So let's try and get this tape off without causing too much damage to the box and see what we're like inside. Okay, that's easy enough. The box is quite nice. The back, it shows artwork of some of Bane, this guy and some of the other characters you can see. And distrib distributed by Locker Toys, which is in Hong Kong, who have ordered for it from uh, many times previously. A uh, good company if you live in Asia because it's normally free delivery. Okay, so inside we have this postcard. Wave free on a busy work day, suddenly screams come from the corner of the block. Ah, run for it, monsters! Bane, a banker who had just finished his lunch, saw zombies flooding out of the lab. And he too took off immediately. He seemed to almost know instantly that he had to go to open areas, the higher the better. There was only one place to go in this area, Tower 101. Zoe, a female student, waved her sword in attempts to attack the zombie, shouting, Go away! loudly. Bane was escaping when he spotted, spotted to the girl and realised she was outnumbered. Spotted the girl. Uh, Bane needed the saver. Bane picked up a bat nearby and fought with Zoe. They finally escaped from the zombies and ran to Tower 101. Bane and Zoe fled into Tower 101 along with many other survivors. They went to different floors and fought the zombies alongside the residents there. During the battle, Bane learned about Zoe and how she lost her parents to zombie bites in the earliest zombie apocalypse three years ago. Okay, so that's the story in the back. Just one mistake in the English, which is not bad. Quite interesting. Um, so this is sealed, as in it's got a lid and bottom. So let's pretend. No, just a friction shut. There does seem to be something missing from the bottom here, which is not in there. But let's see what we have. So we have a base, and I do like that base. It feels like quality. It's got texturing. You could maybe paint that a little bit more, add more to it, almost like a manhole cover. Uh, we have a golf club, pretty cool, and a crowbar or a tire iron, depending on which version English you speak. Uh, there is a, pretty awesome, a tie, which you can use in other figures. There is a small pistol, looks really nice, but there's no drilling on the barrel, but it still looks good. And then we have the figure himself. Now, some of these figures I've seen online have broken, but let me have a look. At the paint app first paint does look good his jacket is flexible so it will come off but inside you can see it's not quite painted fully okay uh he's a nice looking figure okay uh stands easily which is nice straight out of the packet uh let's try with his tie on see how that clips just around the neck i think Unfortunately, it can't go round under the collar, though it may be able to grip it because it is rubber. There are grooves actually in the collar which will make this fit, which is a really nice bit of a design work by this a toy line. So it can clip just about there and hang to the side, looks quite good. Or you could maybe do it around the neck, but that'll look strange since he's got a shirt on, it looks like he's trying to strangle himself. Uh, it does fit into the grooves, which is a great design feature, though perhaps it could be a tad a little bit tighter to make it better. It does look pretty damn good there. And I like the fact that it's to the side, so he's really sort of in a rush. He's struggling. Okay, let's look at um, the accessories. Nice paint app on the crowbar, on the tyre iron. Good, we've got the brown sort of rust and black, got some red where he's hit something and some chrome silver on both sides. Golf club, nice handle, silver, and then it's got um, red blood from him pounding the zombie in the head. 
Okay, figure. Let's go from head to bottom. For articulation left and right, up and down, and a little side to side. So that's going to be a ball joint. And I'd imagine that'd be easy to take off. Uh, shoulders, I'm going to be very gentle. Okay, shoulders come up. Not too far. The actual mould of the suit gets in the way. Uh, elbows. He gets a not even 90 degrees, but close enough on the elbow bend. This one's actually coming out of joint. Okay, that's a bit, This one, I'm a bit scared to bend because it looks like it doesn't want to bend. Um, so this one comes out, I would probably have to maybe heat that up a little bit. It is moving a bit, but it may break the plastic, so you need to be careful. Um, wrists swivel, and that's it as far as I can tell. Oh, there is a, there is further wrist articulation. They have an up and down, but they are painted shut, so it ain't gonna happen, unless you sort of take your time. Legs, pretty good in the outwards, considering he's wearing a suit. Um, Forward is nice, backwards is non-existent, purely because of his mould on his butt there. Knees are a double joint and he gets a really nice tight bend there. Quite stiff in the knees, which is good, so it's easy to uh, keep poses. Ankles, there is a left and right turn, but there's no rock and there is very little up and down flexation and that is due mainly again to the mold on the figure. Now I did get him because I like him in a suit and you don't get too many 118s in suits so it's a pretty nice addition to my other 118 figures. Um, okay now his arms are bent. That is a little, now that I've done it it's a lot easier. Let's see how he grips his stuff. Let's have a look at the gun first of all. It's a bit awkward to pose, so you know it does say on the box, you know, 15 years upwards, and you can see why. Um, you're gonna have to force the fingers a little bit to hold a gun in his right hand, which I'm not so keen to do. Left hand will be easier without forcing the uh, plastic, and also he's got his finger in the trigger position better on the left hand. Again, you've got to force the things a little bit. I'd prefer more rubbery. On the fingers. Okay, he holds it okay. He's not holding it properly, but he holds the gun okay. Golf club should be easier, just slide it in. Yeah, it's got a nice golf club there, not too bad. Crowbar again, either arm will just uh, slot in relatively easily in comparison, I hope. Again, you might have to bend the fingers out, which is not the ideal thing. Want more rubbery fingers for this. There's also a bit of a mould spur, if you can, then you can see, on his finger here, which you'll have to cut off with a knife in the future, perhaps. It's a nice looking figure. Now, has he scaled to other 118? Well, I don't have any other 118s here, except for a War of, Older, War of Order, sorry, Secret Master from Devil Toys. This is a sci-fi figure, and he doesn't have a head, because he's a replacement figure. But you can see that the Zombie Lab is... Mm, it looks to be maybe a tad taller, possibly. Let's have a get this guy straight first of all. Yeah, the shoulders, because the jacket makes it a bit taller. I think with the heads on, they're about the same. So they actually scale very, very well together. So I can focus this a bit, maybe. Or perhaps not. Let's have a look. They do scale very well together in terms of size. There's a good scale 118 figure, which is really nice. And I love the fact he's in a black suit. Now, if you could see the white table here, you can see there's a lot of black specks where some of the paint is coming off where you'd be moving the joints for the first time. And that's, you know, visible in some of the joint areas too. Uh, I didn't look at his waist, actually, for the, um, 
uh, articulation. So waist, yeah, he turns side to side. He has backwards a little bit, just like boss fight, because it is designed in conduction boss fight. Forwards, he comes apart. Uh, forwards, he gets a bit before he wants to come apart. And again, you can take the jacket off if you want him to be a, a jacket free. But if you take the jacket off, you'll see that his arms are black. So they look very strange. Better to keep the jacket on. Uh, I'm going to put that tie back on again so we can get the stay a little bit more securely. But it's really, really nice the way they designed that. It just needs to be a bit more secure in how it stays on. Or use my thumb slightly more to push it, push it into its place. Easier said than done. No, I didn't stay that time. But it does look nice. This is a great figure. I might get some more Zombie Lab figures. Not all of them, the ones that appeal to me. So maybe a few of the zombies and a few more of these civilians. They do look good and add extra depth to your 118 sort of G.I. Joe, Acid Rain World, etc. As you build up a nice civilian uh, civilian village or civilian, num civilian number of figures, which would be good. So again, it scales well with other 118 scale figures, which is nice, and it does look good. Um, it's not weathered, but you wouldn't really expect it on a civilian unless it was like blood, as you've got on the stuff here, which is a little bit weathered, which is quite nice. Uh, last thing, I'm just stick him on his base to see how he looks. Okay, that's easy enough, and that one should be. Easy enough to. Okay, so it's on his base now. He can make it look like a zombie. If you want to turn to the side or just keep him upright. Of course, that'll make him taller. Uh, it is a nice looking figure. This is awesome. Action Toys signing out saying please like and subscribe. I'll be back in the future with more awesome Action Toy reviews and videos for you. So stay in tuned. Uh, stay tuned even, and I'll be back in the future. Stay happy and keep collecting, okay? Bye-bye.